the Christmas Day announcement that parcel delivery firm CityLink had gone into administration was disgraceful, a union has said. RMT General Secretary Mick Cash said it was shocking to have sprung this announcement once all the Christmas deliveries have been completed. The Coventry-based firm, which employs 2,727 staff, made the move on Christmas Eve after substantial losses. Administrators warned of substantial redundancies in the coming days. I worked on Christmas Eve with no warning this would happen, I found out from the news. City Link Worker Mr. Cash said the decision to go into administration was the bitterest blow any group of workers could receive on Christmas Day. RMT will do everything within its power to mobilize a political and industrial fight to save the thousands of jobs that have been put at risk as a result of this shock announcement, he said. The way it's happened, that on Christmas Day they've done this to our members is disgraceful. The RMT told its members on Christmas Eve that it understood that wages owed up to December 31st would be paid, but any further payments were not guaranteed. CityLink, owned by investment firm Better Capital, called in administrators Ernst & Young because no buyer had been found to save the company. Ernst & Young said some staff would be retained to return parcels to customers and help with winding down the company. CityLink has stopped accepting parcels from customers at its head office and transport hub in Coventry, its three other transport hubs and 53 UK depots. Operations will be suspended at its depots until Monday, when customers and recipients will be able to collect parcels, which they have been urged to do as soon as possible. The firm's online parcel tracking system remains live and a phone helpline will be open on Saturday and then from December 29th. So furious. Simon Judd, from Leon C. in Essex, said, I'm a subcontractor with CityLink, now find I have a liveried van and no work. He added, they've got rid of most employed drivers at my depot, and presumably nationwide. Just have to hope I can find some work elsewhere, after getting van made white. The strain of these losses became too great and all but used up better capital's £40 million investment. Ernst and Young. One City Link worker, who wished to remain anonymous, called the situation utterly disgraceful. I worked on Christmas Eve with no warning this would happen, I found out from the news, he said. I am so furious with what has happened, I have no idea what I'll do. I have no money since it's Christmas, so I don't know where next month's rent will be coming from, where will I live? How will I eat? Hunter Kelly, of Ernst and Young, said, City Link Limited has incurred substantial losses over several years. These losses reflect a combination of intense competition in the sector, changing customer and parcel recipient preferences, and difficulties for the company in reducing its cost base. The strain of these losses became too great and all but used up Better Capital's £40 million investment, which was made in 2013 and intended to help to turn around the company. Ernst & Young will provide support to employees relating to potential redundancies, Mr. Kelly added. Founded in 1969, CityLink said on its website it had annual revenues of approximately £300 million, a fleet of 1,700 vehicles and delivered 60 million items across the UK and worldwide each year.